everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and today I've got a very special package made by Mommy, sent me a package as part of her craft challenge. It's actually kind of a heavy box and I'm a little bit scared of what's in here. So the craft challenge that Made by Mommy does is a really interesting thing. So she'll send out to a bunch of different YouTube creators a box like this one full of different craft supplies and my job is to put together some kind of cool craft using them. So let's get it open and let's see what all's in here. All right. Ooh. Okay. Now one of the cool rules about this is that I'm actually allowed to use the box itself. Oh, here we go. There's rules right on the front. There are rules. Now you guys can find Made by Mommy's channel at youtube.com slash mbmcrafts and there's a link down in the description below so you can see what Made by Mommy's channel is all about in case you didn't know. So, these are the rules. Rule number one. You can use clear tape and glue from home, but no other craft materials can be added to your projects. Two, you do not need to use everything in the box, but please try to use at least four different items. Well, that's not bad. Number three, yes, you can use the box itself. See, I was telling you, I can use the box if I want. Number four, feel free to use your own scissors, but no tools that require electricity. So no like motorized anything. So my X-Acto is totally safe. I can do that, it's all elbow powered. Um, so yeah, no tools that require electricity and safety first. So kids, don't do that. I've included protective eyewear in the box for your protection and my amusement. Interesting. Number five, film the unboxing, your crafting process, and of course the end result. Number six, have fun! If you aren't having fun, it's time to put on those glasses. Awesome. Kim at Made by Mommy is really cool for doing this. That's so cool. So let's see what it is. So I've got tissue paper in here. Now this tissue paper can actually be used. So I'm going to keep that intact because I actually like using tissue paper. Oh, this is like the bottom half of a present, like a gift box, but just the bottom portion of it. Interesting. Ooh. There's some neat stuff in here. Yes, there's really neat stuff. So there's a little bag. Inside the bag is a small pack of crayons. So eight little crayons. Are these hair curlers? What the heck? These are hair curlers. So I got to show it to the little GoPro camera up here. You guys can take a look at it as I'm doing it. But so inside this little blue bag is eight crayons, eight crayons. I'm gonna put those off to the side here. I've got, these are hair curlers. I've got a, a marker very similar to a Sharpie. It's actually a Recoro marker. Cool. A glue stick. Awesome, a glue stick. And these these are hair curlers. Like, I haven't seen anything like this since I was a kid. And I feel like my grandma or my mom would wear these things. These are like little, I'm going to do, I don't, I'm taking off the hat. I don't know how this works, but my hair is actually long enough that I can, be ridiculous right now and uh, I don't know how this is supposed to work but boom hair curled like that I'll do the other one why not I'll wear the whole video just cuz uh, this is really weird this is really like hair cur so it's kind of cool and my brain's thinking what can I do with these little sponges now the fun thing is, is I get to make another part of this video the rest of the video is gonna be me coming up with some crazy kind of craft now you guys can probably tell by the way I'm doing this I don't I don't normally curl my hair so, Merry Christmas. Um, next up, I've got, these are like like a sponge of some kind, some kind of weird sponge pad. Almost feels like the top of like a Brillo cleaning plat pad kind of thing, but it's not steel wool. It's like some abrasive kind of sponge. So that's very interesting. I've got plastic cups. So there's a bunch of these little cool like Dixie cup kind of thing, plastic cups, very awesome. What is this? White socks white socks now i actually use socks a lot when i'm painting i call them paint socks this is an old paint sock i don't wear white socks ever i only wear black socks because i'm a weirdo and i use them actually to clean my paint brushes so it didn't say how to use them but i'm definitely going to be painting because it's kind of my jam um interesting though white socks cool white socks oh <laughs> Protective eyewear. This is this is just gonna get out of control ridiculous here in a minute. So cool guy protective eyewear. Awesome, awesome. 
This is a restickable book cover and shelf liner. So this is like a tube of this stuff that you use to, like a plastic book cover, you can do it. Okay, interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but this should be good. Okay, and I'm, like, my goal, honestly, is to use almost all of this. Ooh, some duct tape. Not duct tape, quack, 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 not like duck, but duct tape. And this one is yellow. This is a tape it, duct tape, yellow tape. So that'll be cool. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Popsicle sticks! So I get to make something big. All right, 100 popsicle sticks. And the cool thing is they are already colored. Like, I'm, I'm starting to piece together something. You can't see it because my eyes are probably hidden by these cool guy shades. But I'm thinking something really cool. Um, what else do I got here? And I'm wondering, are these coffee filters? These, like, these are literally coffee filters. Like, cool. I guess not. I'm not doing that. Cool coffee filters. Oh, I missed. There's another color of duct tape. Look at that. Blue duct tape. So blue and yellow duct tape. Interesting. Ah, uh, oh, finger. I thought this was clay of some kind, but these are finger paints. These are just cool. So I've got red, yellow, and blue finger paint. So I get to get messy with finger paints. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And I also have... Ooh, this is good because I like this stuff a lot. 32 sheets of colored construction paper. So I like, there's uh, some other Disney artists, Kevin Kidney, Kevin and Jody, I think, Kevin Kidney, something like that. And they do these really cool paper crafts that I've always wanted to try. Um, just cutting paper and bending it in very neat ways. And I, I think that might actually fit with what I was thinking in my head of doing. So this is perfect. This is gonna be really cool. I'm actually very excited on this. And then I've got more tissue paper. All right, guys, so I gotta get working on this. I'm gonna start drawing stuff out. So I'm gonna do that and just watch me put it all together. guys well this is it my final craft it's my representation of Walt Disney's enchanted tiki room of course I had to go Disney with it you can see I used almost everything the one thing you may not have seen in the video is uh, me using the roller that I used in the bottom here is a little part of the sponge part of the hair roller and finger paints I used a little bit of yellow finger paint on this little flower basket right in the middle and if you didn't catch it in the video the string that these are hung up with his little coffee filter name tag the string actually came from the sock. So I used almost everything except for that gift box and the tissue paper. But other than that, I think it was a pretty good success. Got my little popsicle stick tribute to, who's it, Pele, one of the tiki's of the tiki room. And uh, that's it, let me know what you guys think down below. Big thank you to Made by Mommy for inviting me to do the craft challenge. This was a lot of fun. Go watch all the other people's craft challenge videos. You guys can see some of their pictures at the end here. But thank you so much for watching, I love you all. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.